back because everybody's done. Opening day of walleye season here in the border waters down on the Nominee River. Uh, had the boat launched to ourselves. Not the river to ourselves, not even close to having the river to ourselves. Water's up like four feet. So the boat launch we just launched from was flooded. We'll show you the boat launch when we get back, hopefully with a limit. A little late start. Somebody doesn't know how to read a watch. But we're gonna find a spot, probably just where everybody else is at. Pitter patter, get some jigs into water and hopefully get uh, our first walleyes of the season. Did you catch a walleye this winter? Yeah, I did. Where? Oh, when we I, went? I caught, no, I caught a whole bunch of them. When did you go to Bait and Hock? I went through. Oh. I didn't keep any of them, though. Because they were too small? Yeah. I didn't, I, yeah, I didn't catch water this year. Gotta catch the first water this year. You uh, look to our left of the, I believe, or is that port or starboard, do you know? I couldn't tell you. There's a boat coming right at us. That You're looked, going right at the boat now. <laughs> I guess I should grab the throttle, eh? Pelican nesting ground. All right, found what appear to be fish. We're in 23 foot of water. A couple boats just down from us. You put everything on the net. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he's not, is he? Right under the mail. Oh, well, he gets a free pass. Ooh! Minor technical difficulties. Get him, bud! Gosh dang it! Probably want a net, eh? That looks like a nice one! Nice sucker! Nice sucker! The timber trout. You're like Great Lakes timber trout. Timber trout. Saw it head shaking, I thought. That's probably what I just bumped like four times and thought I had a fish. Show you some sign of life. Oh, tighten my drag. I'm gonna be able to set the hook into the tail of that 72 inch sturgeon. Oh, that was a fish. Now I'm in the motor. Went to pick up the batteries, set the hook on my first walleye of the day, another nice one, 18, 25 inch or something like that. Alex fumbled on the play. We didn't have a net. I said, hey Alex, you're closer to Walmart, will you pick up a net? Picks up a non-rubber net. Tip for you guys. So we're using this freaking chest mount, I hate the chest mount. Tip for you guys, if you're using anything with anything that is hooky, or anything more than just a, well, I'm stuck with the one hook too. Just get a rubber net. I don't think this is coming out. I'll keep. I mean, oh, there you go, actually. Did you put that stinger hook back on for me? All right, we gotta get all the, these ones will start here, eh? Yeah. Right, I'll go up a little bit more, yeah. Did yours rock it? Dude, mine hammered it. Yeah. That was cool. Felt a lot like a smallmouth. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, I figured it'd be better to do that while I'm tying on than run into people. I just sort of cast enough for a little bit if I knew that. <laughs> you said you got blue on? Yeah, orange and black and black. Oh, I'm going with blue because the eyelets are already poked out on the blue one. Close enough to purple, right? All right, all right, got, the, got all the bugs, bugs worked out. That's all we were doing. Oh, it is sunny now. We should use bright colors. Yeah, the earliest ones with the sparkles on them. The green one still on? I got that green one tied up. 
green sparkles. I might try that out. Even though Carl Bonac said it was going to be cloudy all day. Let's move back up. Reset. Reset. Purple ice and purple ice. Purple ice, purple ice. Ice, ice, purple. Sexy. Doesn't it look it just looks so sexy? Yeah. I yeah. wouldn't eat it. You wouldn't eat it? Would you eat that one though? I'd eat that one. <laughs> that was deep right here, is it? Twenty-three? But this is like the only river in, in Upper Michigan to jig for walleyes that I know of. Yeah. I think it's a stick. Timber trout. Timber trout. He wasn't getting off though. He was hooked good. Yeah, we had a perfect drift before. We're cooking now. I know I can actually stay vertical. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 getting bites. Got him. Well, take your time. I got to grab the net. No, maybe not. Staying down, staying down. Oh. It's a sucker. Sucks right in the side. We'll keep him, throw him in the box. All right. Oh, I, why did I net that? I don't know. Splooge in, eh? The old sucker splooge. Suckered into it, huh? Yeah, he suckered you. <laughs> We'd already be headed home if it was yesterday. Yeah, we would. Odie, please come to the pilot house. Odie, come to the pilot house. That kind of scared me. I think we got spoiled catching a fish on our first two drifts. Snag or a fish? Good fish. Or Is it though? Yeah. Alright, we need to make sure there's not things. Oh yeah, come on, 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 come on. Bring him to Papa. Oh, ho, ho. That's a 25. Jesus. 24. With that in the box. Black and orange again. I wish you were catching more suckers. Fish. Nope. Ah, my, I bent my hook out a little bit, like like so, out that first snag, and now I get a snag and I wiggle it and it comes right out. We'll see if I'll actually can still hook. I can obviously hook snags. The old double fister, bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. out cast her out from where we started to the mouth not much action came back to where we got a couple switched up baits where'd you set that rod at bud all right here little uh red and white action some red and white sparkly sparkles little red crashing into the buoy thingies Oh, them things are solid. I'll tell you what, we might have lost that. Oh. 
was 100% a fish. Alright, you say so. I don't think my net's big enough. Watch, watch the rod tip. Swath rod tip. No, I was oh. that. there's spider webs up there. Could be a carp. It's not a fish. It's a snag. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no snag, brother. Well, it might be. A snag fish. Hang on. I gotta come up there. Oh, she's taking a run! Menominee River never lets me down. I really just hope she stays away from the battleship. Sounds like my 30 pound lake Going to hugging bottom, brother. I was sitting there banging on it too, trying to get it unsnagged. No! Oh! Oh. What the heck was that? Jesus! I think it's a sturgeon. <laughs> Big walleye! I really just don't want him to go into that buoy. Red and white, baby. Snagging master. He wants to be over there and I don't want him to be over there. <laughs> I wonder if there's no walleye over here anymore. Sturgeon was coming around eating them. God, I freaking hope so. I don't know how he's, there's guys, unless there's some 100 foot hole. Dude, I wonder if he's under the boat. Like. He, he almost passed. I really don't trust this. I'm not. <laughs> Eight pound leader and a blind man tying a knot. I tied that knot. The leader? Oh, there's no leader on it. There's no leader on this one? Are you sure? This is a red and white one. Oh, there is, yeah. Yeah, there's a leader on this one. Big fish, brother. Big carp, big carp. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. He's going to do it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He likes that spot. He's got, got a girlfriend down there. My arm's getting sore. Got the sore arm. You're not even on his charter. Sore arm from Mark Mike Catch Big Lake Trout, but blind eye guide service. Snack fixed her. Got a pole shaker. I think that's out of it. I think it's snack. What? I think this would be a good lunch break right now. No way.
definitely wrapped and something like that. How do you feel, Scott? Upset. Upset. I can do. Wrapped itself around probably a battleship. And, uh, it did it break the leader knot? Whose knot did that break? Oh, that was both my knots actually. Dude, that leader knot is the B word. The cats, the cats pajamas. The bees, oh, the bees that knees. I'm four for two on surgeon. <sighs> All right, calm down. Failed sturgeon attempt. I think what happened was he was snagged around this buoy anchor here and uh, had him out for a while, fighting for a while, wrapped around that, and then couldn't get him. Not sure what happened. If he got off of it, I thought he, was, he broke off already. Or if I got off of it and the jig went into a snag, I have no idea. I don't know. Sturgeon's back in the water. It was going there anyways, but it would have been like nice to get a picture with them. Back to jigging for 10 pound walleyes. That's a walleye. It's gotta be a walleye. Sucker. That's a nice sucker though. Yeah, it is. That's probably what it just God, why do we net him? Why do we net the suckers? I didn't, I just didn't realize it. Was Spot locking, it'll be faster if you try to get that out of the net. I got spot lock. Is he in the mouth? Yeah. Right in the mouth. Really? Yep. I mean, they kind of look like walleye. I told us to take the picture from a distance. That sucker is going to catch me a 40 pound lake trout in a couple days. Do you want me to drop it back in the net just so you can get some more practice? Was he on the stinger or the jig hook? It's a jig hook. Really? He's, <laughs> dude, he clobbered it. <laughs> I just fish, I just missed. Well, there's probably a whole pile of them down there. A bit of an update on what we uh, got going on her. Uh, caught our last wall. Did you catch a sucker after the two walleyes? Uh, no, I caught a sucker then. Two and then a walleye. Sucker was your first one? What? Your sucker was the first one? No. It was a uh, walleye, walleye sucker, walleye. Walleye sucker, walleye. Hi, right, Alex caught a walleye. I caught a walleye, Alex caught a sucker, Alex caught another walleye. That was all before like 9 o'clock this morning. What time is it right now? 6.26. 6.26. We went back to shore about 3.30, pulled up on the lawn of the boat launch that just flooded. Took a little boat nap and uh, pitter pattered back at her, got that sucker you saw. Definitely thought it was a walleye. Alex missed about eight walleyes on that last drift. Go back up to the battleship stretch and uh, hopefully get a couple more winds. Winds win. Well, I'm not even going to say anything and jinx ourselves. Cloud cover coming in. Hopefully we'll get seven more walleyes. Jigs? We got tackle? I Dude, I saw it. Head shaking. There's something. Cleaning up the river. Ooh. That was bigger. Fish? Are you sure this time? Yep. Got it. What was it? No, it wasn't. Was it really? Like 100% on the wall? Yeah, that was, I seen it right there. How? No way. There's no way you would have swam by my lure and not ate it. <laughs> oh, calling her a day solid 14 hours on the water, something like that. In the wake since like 2.30, it's now 9.30. Pretty good day, not a ton of fish catching. Um, probably not the most quality fish catching content. Um, not a very experienced wall angler. A lot of guys coming out at night, looks like they're mostly trolling. So uh, do some research. Hopefully make it down here at least one more time before walleye season opens up in Michigan get some more walleyes. The goal was to come down here and get some walleyes to eat. And we, we accomplished that. A couple of Sioux cars. Why are we keeping the suckers? Some might say, yeah, you can smoke them, but uh, incredible, incredible cut bait for the standard rock lake trout. We'll be doing that. 
pretty soon here again. A couple more times this year, hopefully. Hopefully put one on my wall. Alex has got one for his wall. All in all, pretty good day. Pretty good day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Butthurt I lost that sturgeon. <sighs> Could I have played it out differently? Potentially. Maybe horse him a little more, try to keep him out of that anchor. Probably would have just broke him off earlier. Hard to say. Hard to say. You never know when you're messing with dinosaurs. Throw the boat in the trailer real quick. Hopefully do it in one shot. Probably not. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I we're allowed to go back in motorboats. We're going to bring you much more videos. Hopefully kill a turkey. And uh, go from there. Any hope you guys have a great day. Happy adventures.